feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend So hey guys, uh, happy Sunday. It's later in the day and I'm just now picking up the camera. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, another update. You guys are going to be getting a lot of updates from me. <laughs> But I just wanted to give you guys another update of the foyer and the dining room. Say hi, Nyla. Hi. She wants me to play with her belly button. Your belly button, belly button. Mommy. Yes. Can hit him here? Yeah? No. No? No. Okay. And I'm not going to show you me because I'm just looking a hot mess right now. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. I gave you an update last week of what I thought that I wanted for the foyer, but it has since changed. I moved that little table out of the way and um, it is now in the dining room. And also I have this bench here. Um, it was actually outside on my front porch, but I changed it. And I put it here and I put a pillow with a blanket and I'm going to get some more pillows and put it there. Um, but this is pretty much what I wanted um, from the get-go. What I wanted, my initial vision for this foyer was to have a bench here with um, three different mirrors above it. But I think it actually looks good with just the one mirror and the two um, wall art. I got these two wall arts from Habitat for Humanity maybe two years ago, I think. And then this I got from Home Goods, I believe. And this was from a local store in my area. And that I got from TJ Maxx years ago. So this is basically what it looks like now. So. Um, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to paint the door black and I'm going to have like um, two bookshelves, like really skinny, industrial, urban looking bookshelf. That's what my style has actually turned into, more of like a urban, modern um, farmhouse design. It's really turned into that with some traditional accents to it. So I'm going to have a mini bookshelf, not a mini, but a tall bookshelf here. And it's definitely not going to come out um, that far. It's probably going to come out to about here. And um, I'm just going to have like decorative items on there. And I'm also going to put one here as well. So this mirror is actually going to be moving and be, it's going to go somewhere else. Um, then I'm going to put a big area rug. I'll probably put either a 10 by 13 area rug because the space is pretty large or two 8 by 10s. But I don't know. I think a 10 by 13 will kind of give it um, a continuous look. And then here I had my mirrored um, greenery photos there. So I took those down and you'll see what I did with those. And so here I'm just going to put some 8x10s um, pictures going down or 10x13 pictures going down of my family. And then some wall art on this wall as well. I'm sorry guys, it is so blurry. Okay. And then here I saw the mirror at Walmart that I want to get. I'm going to put it here. It's like a really tall mirror that I'm going to put there and then just like a plant in the corner. So. That's what this is looking like for now, um, but it's definitely going to stay. This is the look. This is exactly what I'm going for. I'm thinking of putting a plant here, um, something there, maybe not, I don't know. But this is my holiday closet. <laughs> so when it comes time for fall and Christmas, I'm going to have a big old Christmas tree right there, but that's my holiday closet. So it's okay if I block it off because we don't use it only for the holidays anyway, the seasons. Um, but this look, I'm loving it. I'm truly feeling it. It's, this is exactly what I want. Now, I was thinking of changing this, uh, light fixture and I'm kind of like 
getting used to it it's you know the colors and everything ties into my decor so I'm kind of getting used to it but it, a part of me still want to change it to make it more you know substantial so leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think should I keep this light fixture or should we change it keep it. Um, <laughs> my husband is saying keep it but should we should we keep it or should we change it leave a comment down below and let me know also I just wanted to thank you guys so much for commenting and for giving me your input on the um, china cabinet I am going to leave it white I am just going to repaint it into a semi gloss finish because right now it has a flat finish and I literally cannot clean the handprints and everything from off of it so I am going to be repainting it um, with a semi gloss finish so that it can be cleaned so this is the living room right now uh, I mean sorry the dining room right now and this is where this is where I put this little table and I think it looks so much better. It looks so nice there. This is where it is. Um, and this is pretty much where it's going to stay. I thought about painting it black, but I actually like the way that it looks with the cream and the white chair rail. It actually looks really crisp to me and clean. And then I just went ahead and put some photos um, above it. I'm going to actually add more. These were the thrifted photos that I found. Um, at the thrift store and I actually took two of the frames and made them into chore charts for my kids but um, I'm definitely going to be going back to Walmart and picking up maybe six more um, and putting there so because I have tons of pictures of my family of my kids and you know my um, my everybody so I just want to make our home feel like a home and represent who we are and not cluttered um not cluttering the walls or anything like that because i definitely believe that space when you have space on your walls it makes the house look more elegant so i'm definitely not going to clutter the walls but i just love this here and just having all the photos on this wall i think is just so beautiful and then of course you guys know i have my white curtains and I just love the view from the dining room. I told you guys before, I think that I will not be putting blinds um, on the dining room because I just love the picturesque um, view that is outside of our dining room. And it's just so beautiful. And I feel like all the greens, it just come in <laughs> to the dining room. And it just, I feel like we're living in a tree house. So um, that's what that looks like. And maybe I should turn the light on, give you guys a little bit more. There we go. So this is the, that's my hipster. <laughs> he is loving it, you guys. This is like one of his favorite spots. He sits here and he just takes in because we get the breeze that comes in from the window. And he just, he's literally walking on clouds right now. <laughs> yeah, mom. <laughs> um, this light fixture is definitely going to be changed. It is for sure 100% coming out. Um, this I actually picked up today at TJ Maxx. It was um, on clearance for, well, I looked at the price tag and it said $62, which didn't seem right to me, but it was on clearance for $20. Um, I don't know if they put that price tag on it the $62 if it was for real for real or I don't know but there was a clearance price there was a regular price and then there was a clearance price so I got this today and it is substantial it is strong so I just put some greenery in it and it just blends in with the greenery that is outside I feel like it just pulls it in I love the way that it looks on the table um, and this is pretty much going to be on my table all year round. I just feel like I don't have to add anything else. It's simple, but elegant and classic. And I absolutely love it. And I just, it just turned out so good, you guys. This dining room is turning out better than I expected. So originally my plan was to put uh, a fireplace here, originally. Then it changed <laughs> because I put this here and I was just like, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. It does. <laughs> so I am going to keep it there. Again, it doesn't take up the entire wall, which is great. 
it just it looks elegant to me it looks very elegant and substantial so I just put a mirror up there and then I got some candlesticks that I got from home goods last year for Christmas and then my two apothecary jars I also have a little mercury glass candle holder back there and this one as well which I thought I had two I can't find the other one I don't remember if I if it broke or what but let me just give you guys a close-up of what I'm talking about with this thing it's like it just gets dirty so quickly obviously I have three kids so that's going to happen that's why I'm going to keep the white but I'm going to paint it semi-gloss white because I need to clean it I don't like when my furniture looks dirty and chippy you know I don't I don't know I like farmhouse style but I don't like it to the point of where it looks you know varnish <laughs> if that makes sense but anyway this is where I put all of our stemware all of our glasses and my crystal candlesticks back there and then some dishes that I picked up from Hunga's last year and thrift store. And then um, these are my Easter dishes, summer dishes, and my Christmas dishes. And that's it. I don't need anything else. I'm good. Not buying any more dishes. What you got to say about that? I don't believe you. <laughs> However, <laughs> she can't help herself. But that's just who you are. I'm okay with that. <laughs> So if you guys notice, the table has gotten longer. We extended it because we had the leaf all this time, um, the middle part, but we just never put it in in the older in the old house because the room just wasn't big enough for it. But now we have all this room, all this space. So we just decided to go ahead and put it in there because it just it looks so much better. I feel like it fits the dining room space uh, better, and we also have. We also have family that's coming for Christmas, so it's going to be great. Um, this is our first time really hosting Christmas, like really, really hosting Christmas. So this is going to be great with the family, with everybody coming together and just having a good time. I still have to find um, end chairs to put at the ends here um, for you know myself and my husband, and I'm going to be going to Home Goods looking for that because I know home goods have some really great chairs I did find a few on Amazon but I'm going to check home goods first and see what they have and then um, if they don't have anything then I'll order the ones that I found on Amazon so that's just my husband's box he's going to be putting that in his office and then these are like the thrifted not minus that blessed sign on um, the thrifted glass the thrifted picture frames that I showed you guys in the video. If you have not seen that video, thrift haul video, I will link it in the iCard above or in the description box below. Um, would love for you guys to go and check that out if you have not yet seen it. But this is, um, I'm going to be spray painting that white and I'm going to be getting some mats um, and put in that, put in each frame and I'm gonna be putting some wedding photos of my husband and I in it and put it upstairs in our bedroom. So you're going to see the transformation of that. And then I also wanted to show you this, you guys. This is like the piece de resistance. I am so in love, so in love with this shelving. Okay, so let me give you a story, right? I went to Target looking for bookshelves. The bookshelves that I saw was beautiful, but it just wasn't as wide as I wanted this. And each bookshelf, the, the black bookshelf with like the wooden shelf itself, um, it was like $158, which was fine. Um, I would have to probably get like two of them in order to fill the space. But then as I was like kind of walking around, I saw this and I was just like, wait a minute, it's black. <laughs> It's a shelving unit. It's actually used for in storage rooms and kitchens to store pots and pans. But I thought that it would look so nice in the dining room and it really does. And this was actually $60 and it fits the entire wall the way that I needed it to be fit. So I'm super duper excited and all of my thrifted items and some a few items that I have purchased over the years 
fit on it completely and totally and it doesn't look cluttered to me it looks beautiful my husband told me he loves it normally you know if it looks cluttered or whatever he'll let me know like ah oh, babe mm, i don't know but he was just like this is gorgeous this is beautiful and so i am so excited about it um it just looks so great so there goes the picture frame that i was telling you guys the mirrored ones um i got those from hobby lobby their original price is 50 dollars and i went on their 50 percent off day and i got both frames for fifty dollars so I just love that and I think I'm actually gonna go back and get a few more pieces because I just I love them they look so elegant and um, I'm not gonna tell you where I got everything because obviously I said this a long time ago but most of these items are thrifted I want to say 90% of these items are thrifted but I just wanted to give you guys like a close-up of everything it just looks so beautiful I just love the way that it turned out it's so elegant and I just oh what else can I say I just love it so much there goes that mercury glass that I thrifted a few uh last week and then the lantern and I love how the copper just you know blends in with the wood tones and the whites and all the greeneries and the black and it just it just looks so elegant to me i absolutely love the way that this thing turned out so i just love it you guys it's so beautiful just leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about it so that is what the dining room is looking like um so far i still have to get a rug i'm looking for the perfect rug once i get to home goods i can see if i can find something i actually did find something there but i'm looking for the perfect rug to put on my floors and the two chairs and the light fixture oh yes also on these two walls right here i'm going to be putting a lantern I found these two black lanterns in Target and they are massive and so I definitely do want to get two of them and put one here and put one there and the light is going to be changing I'm gonna put a rug and then the two chairs and honestly that's going to be it for the dining room I don't think I'm going to need to do anything else to it um, the rug is going to basically tie everything together so i am so excited you guys leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about these updates oh i also have to show you um the back hallway okay so here they go these you guys remember i showed you guys this in the thrift haul video as well um these were the overstock items from Target that was in the thrift store and I paid $19.99 for all three you guys and so I just have some command strips holding them up let me see if I can um, there we go I just have some command strips holding them up on the wall and I just I just love it it just looks so beautiful and it just gives the hallway such a different vibe a different feel and it blends in so well with the floors and it looks very crisp and clean this light i'm going to be taking out um and putting a farmhouse um modern farmhouse light in there and so uh, the light is going to be shining down you know like a gallery light on the wall art so this is what that is looking like and that's it for my updates so far um there's really nothing updated yet in the kitchen i got my crock pot that i'm using for the first time i made some curry chicken for dinner and i also picked up these two cutting boards from um bamboo cutting boards from tj maxx and then this was given to me from a friend um and that's pretty much it you guys for now uh hopefully hopefully <laughs> I can get my kitchen painted, my cabinets painted um, next week on Saturday and 
finish off the floors and give you guys another update of what that is going to be looking like so leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about my updates in the dining room um and what you love what your favorite things are in the house so far and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done so also hit that bell for new notifications whenever i do upload a videos that, that way you guys can get your get the videos on time and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel um, and it also alerts me to just let me know what type of videos you guys like in order for me to um, create content for you guys so don't forget to don't forget to do that um, don't forget that Jesus is Lord and that he loves you and I love you as well and I will see you guys in the next video Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you guys very soon. Love you guys. Bye. Two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I